Hey everybody, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. We are so glad that you could join us. I was going to say each and every one of you all right. How are you today? Yes, holy cow, it is good. How are you doing, friend? Well, I was okay, but I got some friends that's got a problem. Well, who is this friend? Oh, yeah, he's one of my girlfriends. Oh, brother. And and what's going on? Well, well, every time she gets sad and cries, tears run down her back. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, the doctor calls it bacteria. Oh, brother. Holy cow, your jokes are worse than some of mine. Well, go to heaven. That's a groaner, and groaners are for grown-ups. All right, all right, all right. So, is school going okay? Well, I can't wait until Monday. Why, what's Monday? Monday's Labor Day, and there's no school. My favorite way for school to be closed down. Well, I understand, but Labor Day's an important day. It is. Well, it reminds us of something. It reminds us of our work ethic. Well, what's that? Well, when you're at school, you ought to do your very best, and you ought to have the right attitude. And when the teacher tells you to do something, you ought to obey. Oh, hey, hey, that's a four-letter word. You better watch it or I was going to tell your mama. Well, I try to obey my mama. And obedience is doing what you're told, when you're told, with the right heart attitude. That's right. And when we work, we're doing it not for us, but for God. Huh? Well, Easter Kevin, these kiddos that watch us, they ain't old enough to get a job at Chicky Filet. Why, they can't even reach the top of the counter. They'd have to sit on the counter to work. No, 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 no. In everything we do, we do it as if we're working for God. Woo! Does he give us a tight check? <laughs> well, no, Al, we may not get a paycheck, but the retirement plan is out of this world. Huh? Well, Holy cow, there is a verse in the Bible. Oh, I figured there, do I? Well, it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, Whatever you do, you mean go to school or get a job? Yes. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. Oh, you ain't knowing I was doing my school work. I ought to have a good attitude? Yes. And I ought to try my hardest? Yes. Because I was doing it for Jesus? Yes. Ooh, that sounds doable. But you know, we could still have the attitude of Chicky Filet. How's that? When we turn in our homework at school and the teacher says thank you, we could say, my pleasure. Well, that's a good idea, holy cow. If we started having the attitude, if our parents said, go clean your room, and we cleaned our room, we could say, my pleasure. And if our parents said, you need to clean up the bathroom, okay, I'll, I'll do it. It's my pleasure. That's a good idea. Hey, speaking of chicky filet, could we go get some ice cream? Why do you want ice cream? Because your daddy always said, eat a lot of ice cream. It fills in the cracks in between the groceries you eat. <laughs> well, he did believe that and he did say that. But holy cow, I got one more thing I think we need to do. And that is for you to say goodbye, holy cow. Well, I'll do it if we'll go get ice cream after this. All righty, I'll drive you pay. All right, goodbye, holy cow. Y'all take care and brush your hair and brush your teeth. Because you only got to dust the ones you want to keep. Mr. Kevin, you got some money I can borrow. <laughs>